Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Lucas, a foreigner originally from Sweden but that has lived here in Taiwan for the past 8 years and that had his first encounter with Taiwan 10 years ago when he was an exchange student at Suzhou University. And as you might have already guessed based on the trouble-free, careless Hakuna Matata clothing choice, we're gonna once again travel back in time together and check through my journal where I took some notes of my absolute first impressions and adventures here in Taiwan. Not really sure why this book would still be dusty because we just opened this up a couple of weeks ago but I'm paying a lot of money to use these effects in my videos every week so don't think too much just sit back enjoy and we'll get this video started. After waking up in the middle of the night after one of the hottest few hours of my entire life I quietly climbed down from my bunk bed and headed to the showers. Okay, actually, this moment right here, my first shower in Taiwan, even now after being here for eight years, this is actually one of the most memorable moments of my life here in Taiwan. And I already talked about this, so I'm just gonna link to that video down in the description. So after you watch this one, you can go and check that out. But for now, I think we're gonna fast forward a bit until the time I actually go out and explore Taipei and Taiwan for the very first time. Okay, needless to say, pretty much everything out on the streets of Taipei is completely new for a Swedish guy who grew up in the middle of the forest. But I think we can all agree that dried squid, fried shrimp with the shell still on, and the drink with what I can only assume is tiny frog eggs can't be normal, right? Now, I have to say, and I think that this pretty much applies to every single Taiwanese that I know. As soon as you guys found out that there's a new tourist, a new foreigner coming to Taiwan, you Taiwanese people always want to show the weirdest, most traditional, most extreme things about Taiwan and especially the Taiwanese cuisine, which is very hard for foreigners to accept to begin with, especially if it's supposed to be their first actual meal, their first day, their first week here in Taiwan. I know Taiwan actually do have a lot of normal and very delicious food, but for some reason everyone tends to just show the most extreme things and basically just force down the food down your throat. Hopefully one day a foreigner can start a YouTube channel and introduce some actual good foreign friendly food here in Taiwan. If that is something that you want to see, please do leave a comment below and give me some recommendations on what kind of food you like that you also could think be suitable for a foreigner, for a tourist that comes to Taiwan for the very first time. Although we just finished with the food market, the group decided to stop and eat once again. This time we went into a restaurant that only sold chicken. One of our new Taiwanese friends from school helped us translate the name of the restaurant and said chicken food store. All I'm hoping is that the chicken is just as fresh as the guy responsible for marketing. For the record, that is me, 10 years ago, together with one of the other exchange students in this chicken food store. After a three course meal consisting of black chicken, herbal chicken and nine tailed chicken, you might have some questions about what a nine tailed chicken is. Now it may only be my second day here in Taiwan, but I've already learned that I should never ask any questions about the food here in Taiwan and neither should you. It was time to continue with the shopping and sort out the few remaining details before school starts on Monday. And with the few remaining details, I mean a place to stay. Let the apartment hunting begin. Now I actually wanted to take a break from my notes here and talk about finding an apartment here in Taiwan because I know that a lot of foreigners that are watching my videos, you're watching these because you actually have plans on coming to visit or maybe even move to Taiwan. So as we're talking about finding an apartment, I just wanted to give you a little bit of more insight on how to find an apartment in Taiwan. It's very, very different compared to finding one in Sweden where everything is run by these rental companies and you might have to wait months even to like look at an apartment and even if you're looking at it you're still fighting with like 10 other people who would be interested in the apartment as well but in Taiwan it works very very differently and basically you can find an apartment within a day. So there's three main ways to find an apartment here especially in Taipei 
One of them are Facebook groups. I'm gonna link everything down below if you're interested in moving to Taiwan. They have a lot of Facebook groups where you can share apartments with other foreigners. Most of it is all in English. It's super helpful for your first time here in Taiwan. And then the official way to get an apartment would be the website 591. This is basically the only finding apartment website we use here in Taiwan. And I really, really recommend it. Problem is that everything is in Chinese. So what you might end up doing is that your first apartment might be a shared one from this Facebook group or an Airbnb nowadays. And then you will find someone that could help you with the Chinese. And then they might be able to help you translate the different rental listings from 591 and be able to help you find an apartment that way. And then the third way to find an apartment, which I have to admit, I thought was a joke first. That's just basically to go into a building that you think looks nice in an area you want to stay. Just talk to the security guard, see if he knows if they have any available rooms in that building. And more often than not, he will be able to get you in contact with the landlord who is renting out an empty apartment or even give you a tour himself. So you can just walk into a building, you can get a tour of like three, four apartments in the same building. And then once you have find someone that you like, he will be able to get you in touch with the landlord and you might actually be that lucky so you can sign the contract and move in the very same day. Sadly, after spending the entire day looking through more apartments than the number of tails on the nine-tailed chicken we had for lunch, our future looked just as dark as the black chicken we had for lunch as we did not find any apartment that we liked. We still however managed to keep a good mood though as the night was about to start here in Taiwan and the apartment hopping quickly changed to bar hopping, we quickly changed to a nightclub <clears throat> and then actually the rest of the week <clears throat> here in Taiwan was just boring student stuff with like preparing for courses, doing some homework and, and <clears throat> other things that uh, serious exchange students are, are doing here their first time in Taiwan and I just don't want to bore you with all these uh, boring school stuff so I think that we might just end this video right here but I still think that the rest of this book here <clears throat> from the sneak peek I saw might still be filled with some very interesting and some shocking experiences from my absolute first time here in Taiwan so if you want to see more of this please like this video to show your support so I know you enjoy watching it Please also subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you do not miss my future adventures both from this book and my first time in Taiwan but also future trips, travels and exploration and adventures I'm doing here on a weekly basis. Please also share this video with someone who you think might be interested as well or if you even know someone who is planning on moving here to Taiwan and might need to find some tips and tricks on how to find an apartment. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. Starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and I'll see you in the next one.